welcome back to my channel today I'll be crocheting a poncho um, I have my yarn needle that I'll be using to tie in my um, loose ends I also have a pair of scissors I have a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook and I have um, Aunt Lydia's white thread is number three I'll start with white, but I'll also be using brown, same number three, and Lydia's, and also the yellow. So um, this will be a multicolored poncho. So the pattern says to start with um, chain 153. I've already went ahead and I made my chain of 153. And it says um, to join to create a circle so let's join to form that circle so we're going to insert our hook in the first single crochet that we made so let me make sure um, it is and what you have to um, be careful with is that your chain is um is not twisted so I'm just trying to make sure that mine is on um, straight before I join the circle. Okay, we we'll join in the first chain. Insert the hook. Okay. Now joined. So um, the second row it says to um chain one. Let me get this straggler out of the way. Make a chain one, and it says the single crochet in the same stitch. And we are still in the first stitch. We're going to make a single crochet. And it says to um, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then it says to skip two chains and single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to count our chains. This one is a bit loose. So we're going to count the chains. We're going to skip. We're going to count one, two chains and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. chain is a bit loose okay so we have to do that all around we have to make chain five and skip two chains and single crochet in the next stitch And then it says to make a picot, and the picot is chain three, one, two, and three. And you insert your hook in the first stitch of the chain three, and you make a slip stitch. And that is the picot made. This is the chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and skip two stitches. 
one, two, and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we single crochet in the next stitch after the two stitches that we have missed. And then we have to do a pick cut again. Chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch in the beginning of that chain three. Another pick cut made. And this is chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and this is a skip two stitches. And skip one, one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch. So what we are doing here. We are chain, making chain five, then we skip two stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, then we make a chain three, and we make a picot. So that is what we have to do for this round until we reach all the way, reach all the way back to the beginning. So it's chain five, single crochet, chain three make a pick cut chain five again skip to chain single crochet in the next chain chain three we make a pick cut and so on so i'm going to continue in that pattern all the way and i'll meet you back when i when i'm um, approaching the end of this row i've now reached to the end of um round one so we'll join at this point so we're gonna chain five the last chain five one two three four five and the pattern says to slip stitch in the beginning so we're gonna slip stitch in the beginning chain Here we have, this is round one completed. So now let's go on to round two. Round number two says we have to slip stitch in the first two stitches. Just one, just one, and two. In the first two chain and then we have to make a chain one we have to single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one so we make a single crochet in the same stitch and it says after that we have to make a pick cut and the pick cut is chain three one two three and slip stitch in the beginning chain cut is made and now we have to make chain five one two three 
four, five, and we have to single crochet in the next stitch. We have to single crochet in the next stitch, five chain space. We have to skip over and now single crochet in this five chain space from the previous round. And we have to make a picket, which is chain three, one, two, and three. And we have to slip stitch in the beginning of chain three. Another pick up made. So what we are doing on this second round, we are making chain five, and we're gonna single crochet in the next chain five space, and then we make a pick up. So let's let me make a few more before I leave you on this row. One, two, three, four, five, chain five single crochet in this chain five space from the previous row chain three for pick up one two three single crochet in the beginning chain now we slip stitch sorry chain five again one two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain three for a picket, one, two, and three, slip stitch in the beginning chain, Okay, that's what our second row, second round, sorry, is going to be. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space from the previous row, then chain three, and then we make a picket. Chain five again, single crochet in a chain five space from the previous row, then chain three, we make a picket, and so on, until we reach to the end of this round. And this round, sorry, this pattern is the same all through. So we have to repeat the same. What you did for row, row number two, up on up until row number twenty-one, where we'll come back and we'll continue on with the poncho. So I'm gonna um, leave you at this point, and I'll meet you back after we have completed row number 21. I'm gonna have the written pattern for this poncho in the description box below. So I'll meet you back after row number 21. I've now reached to the end of row, sorry, round 21, and I've fastened off um, my work, but um, as you can see, I've taken my poncho a few rounds more because I thought 20, 21 rounds was a bit short. And this is what uh, mine is looking like thus far. I did it in multi colors, but of course you can do it in whatever color you prefer. It's looking so gorgeous. Real pretty. So um, now we will move on to the edging for the neck, the neckline, the neck area. Only the neck area we're gonna have the edging put on, because as you can see, we have the pickets at the end of um, at the tail end of the poncho. So um, what the pattern says is to begin attach your yarn. They say attach thread in the second chain space. 
so this is the second chain space in the corner area so I'm going to attach my yarn so we can um, begin to put on our heading or edging sorry So let me get my thread. So let me zoom in a bit so you can see. So let me join in the chain to space. Okay, I've joined my thread in the chain to space and um, it says now it says a chain one chain one and it says to make two single crochet in the same space so we're gonna make two single crochet One, and two. two, single crochet in the same space, and single crochet in the next stitch, so we're going to single crochet in this stitch, this single crochet stitch, And then we're gonna make a picot, and the picot is chain three. One, two, three, and we're gonna make a slip stitch in the first stitch. Okay, our picot is made, and now it says to make two single crochet in the next chain to space we are moving on in this other chain to space we're going to make two single crochet one two and one single crochet in the next single crochet stitch from the previous row And then we're going to make a picket again so in other words what we are doing in each chain two space we're going to put two single crochet and one single crochet in the next single crochet stitch and then chain three and make our picket and that will be the edging one two three for the picket we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch Another picket, picket made or pico, depends on what you call it, how you pronounce your word. So let's continue to single crochet in the next chain to space. One single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch in the first stitch. Another picker, pico, picker has been made. So this is what the edging is going to be like. So I'm going to continue on for the rest of the neck area. And I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. And this will be the end of the, the poncho. But what, I, what I'm going to do to mine, a special addition to mine, I'm going to at the tail of the poncho where we have the pickles at the end I'm gonna put some um, fringes I've decided to cut a 10 inch 10 inch fringe and I'm gonna attach them in each pickle at the end of the poncho 
each pickle space I'm going to be attaching the, the fringe so let me show you what how I'll be doing that because I'll do that off camera as well for the sake of time so for each fringe I'm going to cut a 10 inch piece of yarn and I'm going to make the fringe with two strands and then you're going to fold it in half you're going to fold it in half let me make sure I have it in half like this I'm, I'm going to get get the end of the poncho, the tail end. I'm gonna insert my hook from the bottom, the bottom, just in the center of the pico, just at the bottom of the poncho, and I'm gonna pull through the yarn. I'm gonna grab the rest of the yarn and pull it through. And this is what the fringe and then you pull it tight as tightly as possible and this is what the fringe is gonna look like so I'll continue and I'll, do, and I'll complete all these fringes in each pico at the end of the, the poncho in each fringe and sorry in each pico at the end of the poncho I'll be put in a fringe and each fringe consists of two strips 10 inches long well that's my preference so I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when I've completed all of that I've now completed the, um, the edging around the neck of the um, poncho and this is what it looks like gorgeous guys and now um these are the fringes that I've um, put on on the bottom and I've also I've also tied the fringes in um, knots pretty much like macrame I hope most of you know what macrame is looking good guys now let me show you how I tie those knots. I left just a few untied so you can see. I have my um, spot mat. I left untied, okay. I left just a few untied. So I can show you now how I um, tied knots. My table is shaking a little bit. that you can see let me remove the marker that I had okay I have the marker tied to see where I stopped off okay um let me tie these last few ones. I hope you can see clearly. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the um, two strings that are closest to each other. These two 
and these two like this they're simply crisscross it's just two knots regular knots so you tie the knot and you make sure that it's lined up with the other the one that's next to it like that and then you tie again once more you make one more knot over under it always so awkward when you're trying to teach <laughs> and, and filming at the same time okay let me do this over Just trying to form the knot so you can see how I this and you pull the knot tight like this and that's it guys see this is that's it and now you take these two That's closest to this, these two. These are the two last strings that we're gonna tie now, these two strings. So you do the same thing, just simply two knots. Like tie it again. draw your knot shed and that's it and that's all it is guys and you have a nice fringe on the poncho hope you can see clearly So we have one more thing to do and that is the the string for the neck of the poncho we have a string that we're going to run through all these spaces for the neck area and um let me get my cord and the pattern says let me begin that um chain or oh, what the pattern says um for the, the the width of your neck the circumference of your neck the string should be twice that amount so if your neck area measures 50 chains then you know you have to do double that and you have 100 chains or if you measure in now with a tape measure you just double the amount that you get and that will be the length of your string for the neck of the poncho so the pattern says to start the arm um, string you have to chain four make a chain of four says to make two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so we have to make two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook Oh. Okay, let me
let me start that over again sorry about that guys one two three and four and two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook that's one double crochet and two double crochet and it says to um chain three one two and three and it says to slip stitch in the same stitch so we're going to go back in the fourth chain from the hook and we're going to make a slip stitch and now it says to chain three again one two and three and two double crochet and chain three and slip stitch in the same stitch so we're going to make Two more double crochet in the same stitch we are still walking in the fourth chain from the hook two double crochet chain three one two and three and we're going to slip stitch in the same fourth chain from the hook we're going to chain three again we have to do that twice one two three two double crochet in the same stitch chain three one two and three sorry after that chain three we have to slip stitch in the in the same chain four from the hook chain four chain the chain four from the away from the hook and now after we made this little design this will be the end of our the string it's a little design it's it looked to me like a shamrock and now it says to make your chain to the length that you require so I'm gonna crochet my chain to the length of my um the circumference of my shoulder and um I'll come back and we'll continue on to complete the string for the to pull to, to string through the neck of our poncho. I'm now finished with the um the drawstring for the neck of the um poncho. What I did, I crochet the string twice the, the, the size of the neck of the poncho. So you could wrap around twice the neck area and, and at the end and, and at the other end, I crocheted the, um, the shamrock sign again. And then it says to slip stitch in every stitch to the end so you'll notice each end of the I have to cut these strings each end of the um the string has the shamrock sign and here is the string I've already strung it into the the neck of the poncho already strung in so all you have to do is to draw the string and tighten up in a knot in a bow however you want to tie it Oops. this is what it looks like This is the, the neck area and this is the, the, the bottom area with the design the, the fringe and it's looking gorgeous guys I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you do 
please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, the pattern the written pattern will be in the description box below so please remember also to click the notification bell so you'll see each time I upload a new video I'll have a nicer picture at the end so you can see exactly how the poncho turned out thanks again for watching guys bye